it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Christmas lollipop holder. <laughs> I know, I'm just skipping Thanksgiving and going straight to Christmas. Anyway, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I totally appreciate, as always, the support that I can get from you guys. So, all right, let's get started. Um, first up is what you see is the Barely Art website. So I am going to Barely Art to get a free SVG file. So I don't know if you guys know that, but that's also available here. So you can go to Products and under Products, oops, I'm going to go over to see all SVG files and I did just click on Christmas. I want to do a cute little penguin. Um, it could be a fun crafts with kids where we just, but I mean, this reindeer is pretty cute too. Um, but I love this. So stinking cute. Um, I think it'll be easy for kids to apply as well as it's going to look so stinking cute. So anyway, um, it's free. So go ahead and just add it to your cart. You're going to have to check out, but checking out without paying. And then um, you'll get an email to download. So I already have it downloaded. I'm going to go into design space and let's upload the image. So I've already unzipped the file and dropped it into my downloads. So here is my penguin so cute and then i'm just gonna upload now the fun thing about the lollipops that we do is that you can use any file any image will work it doesn't matter if there's a place to cut out a circle for the lollipop or anything and the lollipops can be the square uh, seize candies or any kind of lollipop that's the great thing about this type of lollipop holder so let's just make this smaller so we can actually see it <laughs> it's so big all right um i want to be let's see do we make all three they're so cute um actually i really like the scarf so let's go and click on this and ungroup it and i'm just gonna let's do that let's do this and get rid of it and so we have this now Oh, look, we can change the color of the scarf. So I'm going to make that, um, I'm going to make it a pink. I think I want a pink scarf. Maybe like a bright, you know what? I'm going to do that with the hat too. I don't know why. <laughs> Let's do pink. I just think it's cute. Obviously, I could have just um, gone to go cut this file and it would have been fine but just visually i think pink will be very very cute all right so we've got our image let's make this the right size let's make it about uh four inches and let me pull out one of my lollipops so here's oh my gosh and i have a pink lollipop to match my pink sweater <laughs> all right let's measure this so what you want to do is just measure the entire height from the bottom to the top so that we we don't want, we want the stick to come popping out so that we can tie the stick in. Um, or, I mean, just so that you have something to hold. So it measures about just a little bit over, just a tiny bit over four inches. So I'm actually going to make the height 3.75 so that there's just a at least a little bit of room to hold it. Actually, let's do three and a half. 3.5 is, I mean... 3.75 is still, I think, not enough room. All right. Okay. So we've got this image. The key to making these lollipop holders, and let me grab one so that you can see it, is that it's basically your image. Okay. So this is really the ghost. I added the bat. So don't think about the bat. But you see how the stick is? There's the lollipop. It can be any type of lollipop in there. And then the back side is a duplicate of the front. And what's holding it all together is this little rectangle in the middle. So we're gonna weld that together. And then the stick comes up and we, we have, we'll punch some holes in here so that the stick, we can tie it. So the stick will play, stay in place. The lollipop is super secure and stable so that it can stand there. You know, they could be like party decorations as well. So at your dessert table, you can have 50 of these. They're all standing up. A bunch of, can you imagine 50 penguins? So stinking cute. So anyway, that's kind of what I'm thinking. So the key to this is we need to, here's the, oh, here's the white. The white comes all, you know what? Let's see. The white comes all the way through. 
but not the whole thing. So let's do this. Let's grab, um, let's see, let's grab this and let's duplicate it right now first because I want a full file. But this, I'm gonna just weld. And the reason why is if you look, none of the pieces has the hat together. So if you look at the, the white and the black, it's just the penguin and the hat is on top. So I want this to be a really secure lollipop. Um, so I'm gonna turn the white, we're gonna go to combine, and we're just gonna unite it. We're going to make it all one piece and it's going to be white. It's gonna be our very back layer. So on this one, um, let's do this. And let's stick this arranged send to the back. Okay, so we've got our white in there. We know it's our full piece. Everything else sits on top, okay? So now what we can do is we can put two little holes in here and we can, um, that way we can tie this, the lollipop right through. So let's go to our shapes and add in a circle. And we're gonna make the circle small. We're gonna make it point one. Let's see how, point one five. Let's do point one five. Okay, so here's our little hole. And we're gonna duplicate it. and put it up here. Um, the reason why I, I don't have it right, like if it's in the middle, the lollipop would probably go between the eyes and up here. I'm almost wondering, oh, let's just do that. Okay, so let's move this over. I don't want it too close to the edge of the hat because I don't want it to accidentally rip. So let's do this. I'm just eyeballing it. That's how serious this is. <laughs> So we're gonna grab our two circles, okay? And the, oops, here, let me move my face out of the way. Okay, I'm grabbing the two circles and I'm combining it. And the reason why I'm welding it is because I wanna be able to slice both circles out at the same time of any other colors. So on this one, I need to um, slice out the circles from the hat. From the pink hat. We also need to slice the circle out of the white part of the hat and we also need to slice the circles out of this piece, right? Okay, so we're slicing everything. So now that we have the holes going through all of our layers, okay, we're gonna go up here and we're gonna get rid of these slice results. Okay, so we should have the whole thing. Now what we're gonna do is we're grabbing everything, right? And we're going to duplicate it. And then we're gonna flip it vertically so that it's, and I'm gonna group this for now just so that we can move it more easily without uh, losing anything. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the middle just so that we can kind of see it, okay? Now we're gonna make our little strip at the bottom that's going to weld and attach these two images. So we're gonna go and grab a square and I'm gonna unlock it and I'm gonna make it, you know, we can make this thick because it can go right here and it won't change. I'm gonna do this. Okay, so, and you can see I'm like eyeballing everything. One and a half inches will be fine. 0.76, you can make these better if you wanna like make them more like round up. <laughs> um, numbers that we're more used to, 0.75 and one and a half. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab this square and we're gonna grab, hit the shift key, grab the white here and grab the white here and we're going to combine it. We're gonna unite it and it's gonna be our big piece. Now, we can contour out those holes. So let's click on the white. And why won't it let me contour? That's weird. I should be able to contour and get rid of those. Um, or is it because I'm uniting? Okay, let's see if I, let's grab these. 
And let's actually weld it. Because I think if we weld it, we can contour. So I'm going to get rid of these little holes right here. All right. And we're done. Does that make sense? Because these two, I'm going to flip it to its side so that you can kind of see. This is the bottom. And these two sides fold up. And then we're going to stick the lollipop in between. Isn't that easy? And this image is so cute. That's what I love about these lollipop holders is your image stays intact. So it's as cute as you see on the screen and it's gonna come to life and be so stinking cute when you have a display of them. So, all right, I hope that was helpful. I will see you guys next time. Comments and questions below. Um, and yeah, I will put this together and we'll have a lot of fun. I'm gonna make a few of them so that you can see it on Instagram. I'll put it together um like on a live and then uh also on the youtube tutorial but all right thank you so much for watching and for all your support bye